iostudy.net. Hello everyone, this is Danielle, and today we're going to learn about some English grammar. The topic is the past continuous tense. So we have three things to talk about today, which is the usage, the form, and some signs to use the past continuous tense. So let's first talk about the usage. When do we use the past continuous tense? So we use the past continuous tense when an action is happening at a specific time in the past and something happened in the middle of something else. So first one, a couple of examples for action is happening at a specific time in the past. Number one, my grandfather was watering the flowers at two o'clock yesterday. And at this time yesterday, my family was watching a cartoon. So as you can see, both of these actions happened at a specific time in the past. Next, we have something happen in the middle of something else. For example, I was walking home when I met Dave, and Linda burnt her hand when she was cooking. Okay, now that's the usage of the past continuous tense. Let's go on to looking at the form. So we have three forms here. We have positive, negative, and question form. First, we have positive form. So to form the positive sentences, we do so like this. Subject plus was or were plus verb ing plus object. For example, at this time last year, I was studying in my music course, and she was taking a test at 10 a.m. yesterday. So both of these are positive sentences for the past continuous tense. Now let's look at some negative sentences. The form of a negative sentence is subject plus was or were plus not plus verb ing plus object. For example, Jim wasn't waiting for me when I came, and I waved to her, but she wasn't looking. So as you can see, we have two examples of sentences in the negative form of the past continuous tense. Okay, so let's move on to the question form. Was or were plus subject plus verb ing plus object question mark. Two example sentences here. Number one, was she watching television at this time last night? And number two, were you doing homework at this time yesterday? So these are both question forms of the past continuous tense. Now let's move on over here to look at some signs of when to use the past continuous tense. Number one, when you see these words, at this or that time, and a time in the past. Number two, a specific time, and a time in the past. So let's see some examples here. So, at this time last week, we were swimming in the river. And, at this time yesterday, he was working. So, these both use at this or that time and a time in the past. Some key words. Some more signs. A specific time and a time in the past. Here are some examples. At 8 o'clock yesterday, they were wrapping these presents. And at 2 p.m. yesterday, he was repairing a car. 
Okay, so here you have your completed mind map of the past continuous tense. Now we will move on to the outline. And here is the outline of the past continuous tense. You can scroll through this outline to find more examples of a situation, some example sentences, and further explanations. Once you're done reading that, you can go ahead and take the test to test your knowledge. So in the next video, we'll take the test together. So thank you very much for joining me in this video where we talked about the past continuous tense, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, and goodbye.